Here we have using the rational zeros theorem to find all zeros of a polynomial. And you could have complex zeros. It says the function below has at least one rational zero. Use the fact to find all the zeros of the function. So it is an x to the fourth. So I should get four zeros. Um, and I'm because it says complex zero, I'm guessing that I'm going to have some imaginaries. So really, I need to find two more, okay? And one of them is rational. And I know that imaginaries come in pair. So I've got two that, that are going to be complex, two that are going to be imaginary. I have one that I know is going to be rational. That only leaves me with one more. It cannot possibly be an imaginary because it needs to be in a pair. There's only one left. So it's possible I'm going to have two rational zeros or that the one that, that I find works twice, okay? So it's either going to be two different rational zeros or one rational zero that works twice and then I'm going to have these imaginaries as well. So we got to go through the same P over Q thing. It's already in order, so the factors of P are... 1 and 5, the factors of q are 1 and 3, so I get plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1 third, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 5 thirds. And so I'm going to plug each one of these numbers into this function here. So let me say 1 stores x to start, and then 3x to the fourth, get down, minus 11x to the third, get down, minus 20x squared um, minus x plus 5. So 1 does not give me 0. Now I'm going to do negative 1. Plug it in. I get 0. So I know that negative 1 works. So when I plug in negative 1 in the synthetic division, I'm going to have 3, negative 11, negative 20, negative 1, and 5. There's no missing terms. So we're good there. Okay, and then this is what I end up with. Okay, and luckily it has the same Q and the same P. So if I were to do the P over Q again, it would be the same values. But this is a different polynomial now, right? This is my constant, my X's, my X squared, and my X cubes. So I'm going to start all over again, but I'm going to do 1 stores x, and then I'm going to use 3x to the third minus 14x squared minus 6x, and then positive 5. And when I plugged in 1, I got negative 12. Now I'm going to plug in negative 1, and I get negative 6. Again, I'm looking for 0. I'm going to plug in 1 third. Nope, negative one third. Nope, not zero still. Um, five. Plugging in five. Yes, I get a zero when I plug in five. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue from here. And I'm going to plug in the number five. Or I'm going to use the number five. Because I supposedly I'm going to get zero. So bring this down, that becomes 15, which becomes 1, 5, negative 1, negative 5, and then sure enough, I get that 0. So now that I know these two factors, right, it wants me to find all the zeros. So I found two of them that works using the P over Q. This, though, cannot be factored. So the only other way I can find the last two is to do the quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so then we get the square root of 13 over 6. I have a feeling I was supposed to get a complex but it's okay if you don't sometimes you will sometimes you won't if I did this would have been negative and then I would have had imaginaries and I would have kept going right but it doesn't look like this one is going to be complex let me just double check all my signs 
So brought down to 3, negative 3, negative 14, positive, negative 6, positive 6, 5, and negative 5. So done. Then 5. Brought down to 3. That's 15. Positive 1. And then multiplied by 5, I got negative 1. And then multiplied by that, and I got 0. Okay. So yeah. I thought I would have complex answers because it said complex, but maybe that means complex is a possibility, okay? So I didn't get any imaginaries here. So negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac and over 2a. So I get this. This cannot be simplified. So I have two answers. I have negative 1 plus square root of 13 over 6 and then negative 1 minus square root of 13 over 6. So what are what is the complete answer? It's all four. Negative 1, 5, and then the weird looking ones, right? Negative 1 minus square root of 13 over 6. So all four of these are these zeros.